Hey, and welcome to our first video for the channel. Today, we are gonna look at how to edit a worship song uh, in about five minutes or so. So let's jump in um, and have a look at where we need to go. So we have all of our files here in this folder um, and they've all been categorized into whatever camera they are. Uh, so we had four different cameras for this shoot. Um, and also we have all of our audio files in there. So what we're gonna do is literally just come back and drag this whole worship folder into Premiere Pro. So once our folder is inside here, let's double click this. Um, and we're gonna start to bring off some of the files. We're gonna start with the first song that they did, which was Relentless. So let's jump into here. And so they did two takes of this and see this is obviously the first take here. And this is the second take. I'm um, gonna drag that in. We're gonna go into keep existing settings. Um, and so we're gonna go through and just add in and drop in all of our files here. Cool, so once all our files are in here, we basically have five separate tracks. Um, so we have our, this is our keys cam, then we had a, um, a cam for Mimi, who was worship leading for that song. Um, and then we have two of the um, Black Magic Pockets. One was like a handheld roaming cam, and the second one is our, our safety shot, which is our front on. So these are our four shots. What we actually want to do here um, is highlight them all, right click, um, and we're actually going to do is hit synchronize. And what this does is Premiere Pro is gonna take all these four files and chop them all together so they are perfectly aligned. Um, so when you're shooting, obviously get the person to give a clap at the start. Um, and so from that point, then we're ready to go. Um, so let's find our beginning shot. So we're gonna start with um, a shot of Mimi, which starts here. So let's cut all this back. Boom, so I press Q on my keyboard, which removes everything from left of the uh, cursor. Let's go here and let's have a bit of a listen. Cool, so she was just doing that and that's great. So let's find our um, audio for this song, which is Relentless, which is that one there. So let's bring this into an audio track. So we're gonna right click those two tracks um, and we're gonna synchronize the mixed audio that Fergo has done for us um, with the video. So then when we come in, we'll be able to hear it as good as possible. It says, the Lord is compassionate and gracious, have a look. slow to anger, abounding in love. He will not always accuse, nor will he harbor his anger forever. How good. So all of our videos, all of our audio is now fully mixed and synced together. Um, so now what we're gonna do is color grade it all. Um, and in doing that, what we wanna do is make sure that all the footage looks exactly the same. So then when we cut between, we can just put a color grade over the, everything um, and it saves us so much time afterwards. So let's go and color grade some of our footage. Um, and a little tip in doing this, what we wanna do is match all of our cameras with one. Um, so they all look exactly the same. So choose one of your profiling. So I'd like to choose the Pocket 4K, uh, which is this our main shot here. And then we're gonna sync it all together. So it works perfectly fine. We're gonna jump into our color tab in Premiere Pro and then go through and change all the colors that we need to on a certain color um, to make sure that it fits with the Pocket 4K. So for example, let's take the GH4 that we're shooting with, uh, which is this one here. Now, what you can tell is the blacks are a little bit darker, um, the highlights are a little bit hot, and there's a lot more contrast. So what we actually wanna do, we're gonna remove some of the contrast of the Pocket 4K here. Um, and what you see, look at that, it's already brought in some of our blacks, it's brought down some of our highlights. Um, and so let's bring down some of the saturation as well. Let's bring this down to 90. Um, and just have a quick check how that looks. Pretty good, I wanna make this a little bit warmer. Just bring down our whites. And there we go, that looks pretty much exactly the same. And we'll do that for the one more, which is our uh, 6D that we're using for. Now the 6D has a real um, high contrast picture because um, that's just the way the Canon is. Um, so it's gonna take a little bit more effort, so we're gonna bring up some of this here. Let's remove some of the saturation as well. And if we just have a quick check, that looks pretty good. Let's bring down some of the exposure actually. And there we go. Cool, so now all everything's 
graded together, we're ready to do our overall color grade. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drop in an adjustment layer. So if you don't know what that is, um, it's like an, a transparent fire we can put in Premiere Pro um, and you can put in any color adjustments that you like. So let's drag this onto our timeline and go to the full length. And we're actually gonna make two of those. Um, so onto our first one, we're gonna put in our base LUT which would do an overall color for us. So I'm gonna do base LUT 2. And so that's already put in a whole lot of color for us. Um, I'm just gonna remove some of that saturation. Let's go down to 90 uh, and bring down some of the highlights and lift our contrast. So already that looks so much better on some of our footage. Look at that. And so the second adjustment layer, we're gonna throw on a second um, LUT. And if we look at that, that looks pretty good. Our colors are all there, it's bright, it's punchy, um, it is graded and ready to go. So now that everything's been color graded, um, they've all been synchronized, we're ready to kind of cut through um, and actually put together our sequence. Um, so let's go from the very beginning, which is where Mimi is talking. Um, and we wanna start with a really strong intro shot. And so let's go into just our wide angle. Um, it's a really safe way to start uh, when we know that's kind of a marking point, that's the beginning. Hi everyone, welcome to Crossfire. We're so excited to worship with you guys. Um, I'd love to share with you from Psalm 103. Um, it says, the Lord is compassionate That's what we might do is like cut in here. Slow to anger, abounding in love. He will not always accuse, nor As will we can cut into her forever. there. He does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us. I tell you what I'm not loving is this. This little flicker, Rose that's no good. I don't know how to fix that. I'm gonna cut this and we're gonna go from here um, and as, we, uh, praise his name together. as the worship starts, let's cut to an instrument track. So let's go into Fergo's shot. Now to cut little tracks, if you click C on your keyboard, um, that brings up this little tool, which is your cutter tool. Um, and so you can cut anywhere you like. Um, and V takes you back to just kind of your arrow tool. Um, so we're just gonna go through and cut some of this stuff. Now, I don't like the way that, that cuts out there, so we're gonna bring it over to this shot. Let's have a look at this. Whoa, that's red hot. So let's bring this down a little bit so we can tell there's too much saturation here. There's a lot of whites. Um, so let's bring this down. So, here we go. Mimi's starting to sing, so let's cut to her now. And basically all you have to do is just go through and just cut whatever feels natural. Um, you never want anything too quick. You don't want anything for too long. You can kind of, kind of sit there and think about the people who are watching at home, how they most engage with this. Um, it's really tough sometimes when we're shooting worship. Um, for some people that feels really disconnected. And so what we want to do is make it feel as personal as possible. Uh, so find that sweet spot between how long a shot is and how long it isn't is okay. And so basically all you have to do now is just go through and just cut everything up and make sure it all kind of fits in with the way you want it to be. So the final part of putting together worship is obviously our lyrics. And now um, I've got in our little package um, a little graphic set that you can install onto Premiere Pro, which will, put, will give you preset and pre ready to go um, lyrics. Um, so if we go into our graphics tab here in Premiere Pro and scroll down to double line lyric, I want to drop that onto our timeline up the top. So this is where Mimi starts to sing here. So we're going to drop this lyric in just before it comes up because you want to give people a little bit of pretense before the lyric comes up. And so we're just going to change some of the setup for this. We normally use Helvetica because we're designers. Um, let's make this a little bit bigger. Let's remove some of our tracking. Let's make this zero and let's make it a little bit bigger. Drop in our new lyric. So that's pretty much how you put together a worship song. I'm sorry, I know that was quick. I know that was a bit rushed, um, but I want to make this as tight as possible. You get the basic idea. Um, so those are the little pr principles that we looked at, apply them to the whole song and you're there. Um, so if you've got any questions, make sure you message me. Um, but that is how you put together a worship song.